Yeah, from that moment on, you just felt it was almost inevitable that Cullen would go on and win it because it didn't half flatten. Here's opponent Ryan Joyce. Yeah, well, I remember Joe Cullen being hit with a similar checkout like that on the Euro Tour. And he was asked how it felt, and he said it was like being stabbed. So, when you do that to your opponent, you know you've landed a blow. And ultimately, it turned out to be the decisive one in that game. Yep. There's pressure. Barney looking to break back immediately. Will he get a chance? Maybe not. 103 check out Joe Cullen. 15 data, 2 0. One hundred and thirty-four. Oh, that's another lovely piece of approach play by Joe Cullen again. This is on the Barney throw as well, so a chance to hit back straight away. Joe Cullen letting his darts do the talking. He had darts to win every leg. And he's managed to go 60. two nil up. Joey requiring ninety-one. Mr. Bullseye then missed tops in the following two legs. He's gonna get more darts to win this leg. Game Joe Cullen is leg. bossing this game. Joe Cullen. I'm not sure who's going to be more popular out of the eight we've got with the German fans 97. here. 97. Michael Smith always popular, but with no Peter Wright here. None of the Germans left standing after yeah. Martin Schindler's demise at the hands of Kian van Bain earlier. Joey require 151. Oh, yeah. Can't find the 51. 88. Riemann, you require 124. Well, I suspect this probably has to go. And it may well go. Game and it has gone. And Raymond Van Barnado conjures up a wonderful piece of sorcery Seven on a 1 2 4 Raymond checkout. He has produced some Game big off. finishes this weekend. Raymond Van Barnado has not asserted his authority on throwing this leg, but Joe Cullen has done nothing 100. to worry him. And Barney is first to a finish. Cullen will fancy his chances of getting to as good a one. Maybe better. It is better. Now Raymond. Raymond you require 90. Can he hold it all together? Bullseye he needs. 65. 18 darts thrown. He's Joey not been able to hold 60. his throw. And the only chance he had was one dart at the ball. It's not a good leg. Game and Cullen punishes, play. and once again, Joe Cullen, Joe Cullen is favourite for this game. He's taken the biggest finish of the lot today, but he's not going to take out the 1-5-3, and Joe Cullen is now an overwhelming favourite to become the first player to Joey reach the semi-finals of the European darts match play, a tournament he won four years ago. Messi just about inside the single 13 for 49. Bullseye, and he can only find the 25. Raymond, you require Should have been a better chance than that. But it was only one at the ball. It may only be one at the ball for Barney. No, it's double seven. 81. Will he get another go, or is that the end of Joey his campaign here in 25. Trier? Joe Cullen, 25 points away. And he's got two clear bites at double eight. No mistake with the first start this time around. He takes a moment, takes a big deep breath, takes aim inside for double four. 21. Raymond van Barneveld has survived seven. a total of eight match darts today. Five against Searle, three more against Cullen. And three. Barney can't take advantage. Surely Cullen puts this to four. bed now. He's blocked it, or at least some of it. It's double one. It's Game double one for Joe seven. Cullen. And there's the reaction. Raymond van Barneveld will not reach the semi-finals. A perfunctory handshake. Barney appears to be trying to clarify what happened earlier on in that game. Cullen, I think, just wants to move on and move into the semis. He's done that there. They've kissed and made up. Not really. Not really. And I know they didn't win, but he's represented his country at the World Cup as well. So, productive. But he wants more, but so too does Dirk van Dijven Mode. 140 and a 180 to start things off in this third leg, and Michael Smith is in danger of suffering 96. a second break of throw. Dirk is going a little bit bananas on the treble 20. Move. 135. <laughs> Sound advice. 
121 and a half on the front nine, Dirk Van Dyven border. And at the minute, Michael Smith is under 80 in the front nine. That's why this game is going the way it is. Game shot in the third leg. Dirk Van Dyven border. This is a bit of a puzzle, this one. Being on a gettable finish to seeing something that is 60 in the region of a 2% shot. You give 100 tries at this finish to a world-class player, Dirk they Jim might Aguirre, hit it twice. That's what I mean by that. This is not going to be one of those occasions. And Smith has got 58. a great opportunity now Michael, you require to get within one. <laughs> Single 12. Oh, he's missed Michael. it. Michael! 81. Well, that's very uncharacteristic. He's missed 85. two singles there. Well, we said earlier, didn't we, that the uh, performance against Rock, let's just see. Van Dyven Bowden take out double nine. The Dirk performance against Rock Boda. was the, the marketing dream, wasn't it, for the new arrow? Do you know what, Rob? We talk a lot about how. Modern-day PDC darts is all about lots of different countries, lots of different talents spreading the net. We've got a little bit of old school here tonight. 40. It's all Dirk English and Dutch. Yeah. Well, it was advantage England in the opener, but it's very much advantage to the Netherlands in this 29. one, although Van Dijvenberde can't take out that 45 on that particular visit. 57. Dirk, you require 16. Three clear darts at double eights. I wonder why Dirk was holding the hand up there, an apology. I'm not even sure Michael saw him. Yeah, just flexing the shoulders there. Eight. Now then. Michael, you require 164. Oh, that's why. Hang on a moment. Go oh, on. my goodness me. Michael Smith, Michael Smith has just produced a moment of absolute class that even Dirk van Dijvenbode has to acknowledge. He gets rid of 225 and 6. Michael can't do anything. 135. Was there just the faintest of deflections on that final dart? I tell you what, it's not the worst deflection. But I tell you what, maybe it's turned into a bad one. This is a massive shot now. It is, because Michael Smith can just sense something might be happening. Oh. Wrong double. 38. Michael 38 score. 76. To leave 52, and not for the first time. Van Dijven Boda just slipping into the wrong numbers. Oh, and Michael Smith has done it again. Don't you require 52? I do not believe what I've just seen. I think that may have been a foul dart at the end as well. Yeah, because he threw it from... Almost waist height as well. Games but Van Dijvenbode, credit to Dirk him, Van with Dijven so much Boda. going on, he still had to stay focused there. On strike. Well, the fly was on the board there. 120. Oh. What happened there? That must have been collided with his own flight. Well, he's still the favourite to win this leg and win the match, Sean. There's points on the floor there for Michael Smith 39. as well. And... He's definitely the favourite now. I think he's hit them both. Off that slow motion shot there. Dirk Hit the top one, 88. then the bottom one, and then the bounce out for Michael Smith has given Dirk a couple of chances to get the job done. Bullseye. Won't 56. go for it. Could have gone for it, but with Smith on 193, didn't need to go for it. I'm going to talk about that 88 number again tonight because that was what Cullen hit to get this title when he got his first European Tour title. But it's double 16 for Dirk for the semis. It is indeed. Game and with his fourth match start, Dirk van Dijvenbode reaches another European Tour semi-final. It's his fourth of this year. In that vein as well, no pun intended, the first meeting between these two saw Wade win 6-3, averaging 87. And he probably thought this is another decent Dutch kid who can play. But the fact that they've played another four times, and every time there's been at least 100 average from one of the two players, 
I think James, even though he won't admit this, he will be taking more notice Six. of this young man January than he one, did 94. after the first game they played. Yeah, you, you can't not appreciate this kid. There's a little smile there from Van Veen as he pinned the bullseye. Yeah, There'll be a smile like there, surely, yeah, even if he's not showing it, it's 2-0. Well, this is his worst performance not, of the hey. weekend. He's still 3-1 up on the 10-time major champion, James Wade. But things could be changing in this game. May go to the ball. All 105. Even five years ago, he wouldn't have done that. He would have stayed on the 60, but don't accuse James Wade of not learning and evolving his game to stay in the top 16 in the world. 140. This is a really interesting exchange right here. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it's very good from James Wade. James Wade. Ton finish, 14 data. Just a wave of a hand in apology to the crowd for not producing the nine data. Oh, well. 20s, probably. No, it's yet. Yeah, good call. I remember when Gian Van Veen made his debut on the European Tour and I thought... Well, I'm not blown away. What an evolution he's been. Oh, oh really? He's not been hitting his doubles as well as he has all weekend. But that 167, he might have needed it because Wade's on a potential 11 data to break through and lead, having been 3 0 down. 12 segment. Can Wade pin the bullseye? Good. Yes, he can. James Wade leads from 3 0 down. And the resistance from Jan van Veen is starting to wither. Yeah, he, it just feels like he's... Wade came back into this game with some good darts. And then Jan just started to miss. Oh, and as the legs have kept on stacking up in James Wade's tally, Van Veen has just been made to feel like he hasn't felt all oh, weekend. He's, he's been made to feel powerless. He's been made to feel second best. And James Wade to win it on double ten. He is through to the semi-finals. James Wade, the 2016 champion of the European Darts match play, is looking to reclaim the title. Yeah, Hybrex may well have had a list of names on a piece of paper at home and slowly but surely would have been ticking them off. I, was, I say it again, I was surprised that he sent a message to Jan van Veen prior to that uh, 58 initial victory that the... Uh, 21 year old produced today, so clearly Hybrix was fearing the worst, I think. 140. But Hybrix can now pack his bucket and spade for Blackpool. 99. Luke Ducroix, 87. Well, Luke Humphrey is just looking to assert himself in this contest. Double 18. For a four visit leg, yeah, and he say. has got one. Five and a half legs into this, has not found that real oh, firepower that he may need if he's going to end the title defense. That's better. Oh, Doesn't follow it. Well, there are some Nathan fans in here, and Nathan fans all over the place. But Luke Humphreys Ooh, is not making their lives particularly pleasurable. He's had a series of four visit legs. Yep. Four 12 darters this weekend and an 11 darter. This would be for a 10 darter. 95. Luke Uruguay, 16. And a 10 dart break of throw as well. Yeah. There we go. It, brilliant numbers Luke once again. Humphreys. And the pattern continues. And a nice little Hello, touch Luke there from Luke Nathan Aspinall Humphreys. as well. Just acknowledging Game. that touch of class from Luke Humphreys. Oh, keep on going. Keep oh. on going, cool hand, Luke. He is on fire. You thought the 10 data was good. What if he went one better in this leg? 140. Luke Uruguay, 141. Well, we've seen plenty this weekend. The averages, world class starts, record breaking averages for this tournament. We've had the 170 checkout. An abundance of other big finishes as well, but still no nine data.
But it could be back-to-back -back tens. And crucially, Dan, a hold of throw as well, because it's got to the stage now where holes of throw may well prove decisive, given the way this match has played out so far. Well, Nathan's laughing, because what can you do against this? Two legs in 20 darts. It's not quite that good, but it's 21 darts. Because Aspinall will make me graft for it. Mm. Well, Luke Humphreys may already be thinking about the next all important leg to come on throw. I think he may be now, certainly. All Although, he may have slight and designs on this 54. one. Having got down to a two dark combination from there. Top slow for Aspinall for 3 5. That's a loose one high. 14. And maybe, just maybe, Luke Humphries will finish it off here 83. and now with another break of throw. 83 points away. Treble 17 for double 16 yeah. to seal his place in the semi finals. And the defending champion, Luke Humphries, looks the business once again. And Nathan Aspinall just offering his hand and offering a look that suggests, well, what more could I do? I couldn't really do anything about that because Luke Humphries has tapped in an average of 109.5. Planning ahead for his trip to Blackpool, he may well be putting his feet up and just relaxing and enjoying the rest of the evening for now, knowing there is nothing that can stop him 99. Uh, from taking his place in the field at the Winter Gardens. Uh, Semi-final time then, so first to seven, just to highlight that once again, it's on the screen there for you, but... 97. This is where... Dirk, you require 108. It's been an ordeal already to get here, but now you have to take it to a new level. Further demands are placed on the, the mind and the body. Game shot on the first leg. And Van Dijvenbode. And I don't think that love affair will ever wane for Joe Cullen. I don't. I don't think so either. One hundred. I think Dirk would love to have more European tour events in the Netherlands because he really revels in those ones. Yeah. But it's it's dependent on the size of the country. Germany's a lot bigger, and it is the home of the European tour, isn't it? Is he going to leave 47? One, oh, what a silly question. You bet he is. This leg has been like a Newton's cradle. Backwards and forwards. Double 16. It's good quality so far. But it might be just warming up a little bit. That is an amazing 180 he hit. He's going through the decade, or could go through an entire decade without one. And that might be a, a slight irritation for him. But he can put it right this weekend. I've got a good stat for you in a second. Double top for Joe. 44. This would change the match. Dirk, you require 127. He'd be past the halfway point if he can take the famous 127. Bullseye. Go oh, go yeah. Go Look how much go that means to him. It's no shot. When you consider how many events Peter Wright's been a part of, that eliminates most of them. Yeah. And all of the ones that he hasn't been in, I'm sure you'll have had somebody else. This may, in fact, be the first ever tournament without a Scott. We've only got Dutch and English left. Double six. Double double finale here for Van Dijvenbode in this all important ninth leg. It would leave him one away. Cullen 184 needs to apply more pressure. He's going the right way about it. 140. Dirk, you require 12. Everybody loves double six, but it's not a gimme. Especially if you split it. Oh, what a chance this is. Well, this well, game could be well. turning. Do we require 44? Double six and double three, proving the undoing there. He's yeah, back in it. Two breaks apiece. Well, 69 the average, plus whatever he can post here, and it might well be significant as well. Yeah, look at that. Surely, surely, into the decider we go. 14 darters have been the order of the day for Joe Cullen so far. 180 plays 180, however, and look what he's on, 127. However, Cullen looking at tops. And into the 13th and final leg we go. Brilliant drama in our first semi-final.
Excellent third and final dart, and my word, he needed that what psychologically. He would, what he would give to, to have left 88, because it was 88 that he hit to win the title four years ago. But all he can do is leave the champagne Take shot, which is a little bit better than Dirk's shot. Yeah. But it's Dirk who throws first, and he will trim 65. something off. It's 65. Jamie McCoy, 132. So a treble to leave two darts at the double, and Joe has missed waywardly on that attempt on the 42. bullseye. And it's a bit of a messy visit. However, 90, 78, what would you rather be? In terms of the finish, you'd rather Jamie be McCoy, 78, 78, and of course, you'd rather throw first as well. There's tension up there. Dirk, for the final, needs double 12. There you go! Dirk is in the final! Joe Cullen has a 100% record in finals, but he's not in this final. To nil. Twice. He's beaten Bunting here, 7-0, last year. And he beat Michael van Kuhn, 7-0, before he won his first of four European Tour titles. He's just been completely relentless on that treble 20. Well, you think back to that UK Three, Open eight, final, 2021, he smashed up Van Gogh in the semi-finals of that as well. Double 13. Give it's another four-visit leg for Cool Hand Luke. A huge amount of fans. I'm not quite sure what they're going to have to get. Maybe the, the Luke Humphreys chest murkin <laughs> might become a piece of PDC hey, Euro Tour too. merch. I said to you earlier, I think he's had a beard since he was three. Oh, ironically, I think he looks younger now than he did about five years ago. He might be right. Does he stay there? He does to leave double 15. Good. Beautiful stuff from James Wade. It's a four visit leg of his own. He's been brilliant from the very first start. His lowest average this weekend is a 97. Noisy one. Great response after going 2 0 down, not letting Luke Humphreys tear off into the distance. He certainly did do that when they met the match play a couple of years well, ago. It was after that defeat at the UK like Open, actually. He hammered Wade 10 3 in the first round. A rare first round exit from Blackpool. Double top for another massive checkout. Oh, James Wade, special stuff. Back to back 12s, 150 checkout, then a 130. Oh, more. More, Luke. More. He hasn't got a nine daughter in the PDC. He's one of the best players not to have one. Put it right. He hasn't missed a dart a double. If he can find Four, two more trebles that he wants, can he carry it on for his first nine data? No, again we're denied on the seventh dart. 43. Ordinarily, I would say going the 20 with the last dart there is a mistake because you'd rather be on 100 instead of 98. But look where James is, he can use this like a three dart checkout if he so wishes. 58. Well, he's been given the time to do that anyway by those six perfect darts to start the leg. Oh, this is good. This is excellent. Somebody pass the oxygen. Yeah, oh, Thirteen darts. James Wade doesn't need to stay in the twenties here. Yeah. Thinking clearly, but he's not left himself an easy checkout. It's not often you see James Wade laughing on stage. He's in a very relaxed mood, isn't he? Ninety-six. Might be a bit more pumped up if this goes. Not on this occasion. I know I'll bring it up a lot, but 88 won this title four years ago. It will win leg nine. And it was done this way, just like that. that such composure from Luke Humphreys. I've seen James play in World Championship quarterfinals over the best of nine sets and not get seven maximums. This is getting silly. 
Oh, it's there. And he has got a history of nines. There was genuinely a pause for the crowd. They didn't think that last dart was in. It was. It's six perfect. Can James Wade succeed where Luke Humphreys failed? 1-4-1 one, one for the perfect leg. It is on. Treble 19. It's closer than we've been so far this weekend, but not close enough for the fans in Trier. The way that these guys are playing, I wouldn't be surprised if we get one later in the match. To draw level. Now we go to best of three from here. Oh, come on. There's only so much we can take. How are they doing this? How are they continuing to do this? Another one in there to leave a two data. Oh, that's one of those situations where the difference between a single and a treble is enormous. That's a tricky turn to get now. Even he couldn't squeeze that through. This would be seismic if he can find this. He has not led in this game, James Wade. He may lead in a couple of seconds' time. Oh, it would have left double ten his favourite. But he's left tops. Humphreys couldn't from his 140 position. But he does get two. All he needs the one. Another clinical take from the defending champion. To break. It is so makeable, particularly for a player who's been finding treble so regularly. He'd love to get it done now to stop Wadey from having a chance in a last leg shootout. No chance. But Wade now has the turn at 80. Can he do what Humphreys did in the previous leg? It's double 10. It's Six. not there, and Humphreys has a chance to put Wade away. Luke require 40. Luke Humphreys is doing James Wade's game better than James Wade, Case and on. he punishes him on tops. It is 7-5, and Luke Humphreys once again is in the final on the European Tour. Luke's got Wade for it. Blackjack, 21. Dirk's got 13. I think the key stat for me is the is the finishing. I mean, including this first couple 94. of legs in this final, Humphreys 26 from 45, Van Dijvenbode 26, albeit from 63. 96. I think that might, if that carries over, I think that will be very significant indeed. Yeah, I agree. He's been brilliant in every department. He's got 370 plus shots on top of the 21 maximums. Honestly, if he keeps playing this well, he might have to take a break every month. Both players as well. I mean, you look at their passage into the semi-finals. Both players losing six legs over the course of those first three matches. Very tight semi-finals, both of them. So very little to separate them in terms of... I mean, you could look at the identity of the opponents, but that's another debate for another day. Both of them have a high finish this week of 127. Double eight. Oh, that's Dirk's third. 127. Oh, he did that in last year's final. In the final leg. To lead double 15. Yeah, had to settle for double four in the end, but Van Dijvenboda looking at double 16. 16. Luke, you require 30 chance to hit back straight away and yep you're absolutely right shades of Roby John here for Luke Humphreys double four that's exactly how he won the title just a little bit hit and miss at the start of this final Humphreys and he's now 3-1 down this is a mental test for Humphreys they can be separated by one point in this final not for long it's two dart territory for Dirk, but Humphreys might have something a bit better. And he does. What a recovery that is. Great 
great recovery, that from Luke Humphries. However, it may all be in vain because Van Dijvenbode is looking at, well, no tops, tops. He's gone for the 16s, of course. That's his trademark, and that has paid dividends once again. I'll watch them till the cows come home. Is there a hot spell on the horizon for somebody? The first person to strike the match might be the person who starts to mortar. And that maximum, which is Humphrey's fifth in this final, might just be the time for him to see some flames. Double 16 again, and yet, and... Well, Van Dijvenboda was smiling and choking a short while ago, but there we saw the other side of Van Dijvenboda. He is starting to look a little bit agitated up there. Yeah, Dirk has already come through a final leg shootout tonight against Joe Cullen in that semi-final, 7-6. 100. Don't necessarily think that that will have any bearing on the uh, situation should we go to a decider here in this first to eight race. 134. Dirk, he's left 146 again. 61. Almost like he's determined on a crusade to land this 146. Van Dyven Boda may have other ideas, however, and a 161 checkout. And the big finishes just keep on coming this weekend. And there's another one for Dirk Van Dyven Boda, who has turned things around once more. Well, that was risky. It paid off. But if you get a single 20 there, you're on 162. Oh, is this the time to do that? Is it? I question it massively. Well, that is a massive, massive risk, isn't it? And who knows, maybe a major turning point again, because look at this from Luke Humphreys. Bullseye. 97. Well, that would have been the ultimate punishment. He's laughing about it now, but my Dirk goodness me, he would 60. not be smiling at all had that found its way through. And I just wonder what Luke Humphreys thinks of that. Maybe perceives that as a Dirk touch of arrogance, I'm not sure. But as it is, Dirk van Dijven Bode is one leg away from what would be a first European Tour title. In this tournament, it's not been funny. But what he needs right now is that to happen again. And he'll 100. need Dirk to be very slow in the next leg. That treble 19 coming up trumps. And if you think about how he played in that quarter-final with Nathan Aspinall and the way he finished the job under massive pressure, that's what he needs to replicate. 136, Luke, you require 54. 11 data may be incoming here for Luke Humphries just to reignite the fire. And with Van Dijvenboda lurking on 170, Luke Humphries, Luke Humphries takes care 49. of business. There's a wry smile on the face of Humphries. 100. That was a key last dart. Does Dirk get a championship dart? Yes. And guess where he's going? His old friend double 16, but he's just inside. Luke, you require My word, double 16 has served him well in this final and in this tournament. Shanghai required here for Humphreys. No margin for error either, but there is the error. 16. And Van Dijven Boda back on strike for a second opportunity. He has missed a match dart already for the final, for a first European Tour title for Dirk Van Dijven Boda. And I do not believe my eyes. He has bust his Luke, score. Focus, Dirk. Focus. What a let off. What can Humphreys do? Game he can take us all the way, that's what. Luke I feel his pain. Oh my goodness. I feel Dirk's pain. It might win the title. 96. If he hits this, Luke, there will be carnage. Luke Humphreys. First part of the equation is satisfied, but the second isn't. But he's in pole position Dirk, once again here. And he's the overwhelming favourite now. Had two match starts, Dirk van Dijven Border. Couldn't hit the target on either. Humphreys gets his championship shot. At double ten. My God, he couldn't be any closer. Oh, would you just look at that? He almost wants a VAR on that one. He cannot believe that none of those three darts has found its way through. And Van Dijvenboda steps in, looking at 50. Three match darts come and go for Humphreys. Dirk gets a third. And a fourth. 
and can't find the target. My heart can't take it. I fear to think how these guys feel, but now Luke's got to go back to double 10 again. This is just drama in the extreme. But at long, long last, Luke Humphries finds double 10. And at long, long last, at the fifth attempt this year, he wins a European Tour title. He adds to his tally of four from last year.